The following video will show you how to unpack and configure your Roland EGX30A desktop engraver. Prior to opening the box, please take note of the serial number of the unit as this will be needed to register your product for warranty and support purposes. We will now open up the box and inventory the accessories that are included with the EGX30A desktop engraver. Once we have the box open, we want to go ahead and pull out all of our accessory packets and set those to the side so that way they can be inventoried to ensure that all of the items are included with your machine. Accessories include the user's manual and CD, AS10 sheet and acrylic test piece, the AC adapter, power cord for the AC adapter, USB cable, the vacuum hose, an engraving cutter, the bearing assembly and nose cone, brass guide for diamond scribing, the hex driver, spanner wrench, and finally the hex wrench for removing the brackets. Using the supplied hex wrench we want to remove the three black brackets from the machine. There are two in the front that hold the X rail and then there's one located on the back that holds the spindle assembly. Next, connect the AC adapter to the machine as well as the USB cable. At this point do not connect the USB cable to the computer. Once the software and drivers have been installed we'll go ahead and power on the EGX30A. The machine will then go through its initialization sequence and when complete the spindle will be located in the upper right hand corner. Next we want to remove the backing paper from our AS10 sheet and place it in the lower left corner of our engraving table. And next we'll configure the machine for engraving.